hey, you made it to part two. So in this part, I'm going to be covering how to install VirtualBox and how to get a copy of Ubuntu. So in the previous video, I was talking, I was trying to sell you on the reason on why you want to do this. So throughout this whole entire video series, I'm going to go ahead and throw a little um, nuggets of information here and there explaining to you why you want to do this. So we're going to go ahead and get VirtualBox. So we're going to say VirtualBox on Google. And here it is, VirtualBox. And we're going to go ahead and download. The cool thing about VirtualBox is that it will actually work with any machine you have. So if you have Windows, OS X, or whatever it might be. But for me, I have Linux. So let's go ahead and click on Linux. And then we want to do, for me, I want to do Ubuntu 2.04 AMD. So this might be a little bit different from yours or whatever it might be. But pretty much the idea here is to get VirtualBox installed. So um, let's go ahead, well, that's downloaded. Let's go ahead and download Ubuntu. So you put Ubuntu, download. And like I was saying before, um, we don't want the desktop version of Ubuntu. What we want is we want the server. We don't want none of that GUI stuff. So you see us is Ubuntu server right here. You click on that one. And we want the 12.04 long-term support. So we're gonna say 64 bit and the LTS looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. And then it should start downloading. Okay, so now that we are downloading Ubuntu, we're gonna go ahead and start up a uh, virtual box and let's see what that tells us right now. So it's gonna go ahead and launch the software center. So if you're running on a Debian system, you more than likely you do have a software center. If you're on a Mac OS, it's just a DMG, drag it over to your applications. If you're on Windows, you just install it with the installer. But for me, I already actually already have it installed, so I actually need to just upgrade because my version was a little bit old. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password. And now we should be uh go ahead and installing this. So we're gonna need a couple of other things to get this whole entire thing to work. So right now we're gonna go ahead and install this virtual box, which is taking its sweet, sweet time. Yeah, okay. So that's go it's gonna go ahead and install virtual box and then our our Ubuntu server is downloading right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the software center went ahead and finished installing my virtual box. So if we do virtual box, there it is. This should pull up um your virtual machine. Well, your virtual box manager. So what we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and go into our preferences and we want to go into network and we want to add a host only network. And once we add that, we want to go ahead and click this little screwdriver here to edit the host and make sure on DHCP this is disabled and the adapter IP, you can pretty much create any IP, sub IPs. So if you want to create a like a mesh of virtual machines you can but for us it's gonna be really simple we only need one machine so this is fine well let's make it 101 just so you know okay looks good there and um, we're gonna go ahead and click OK now we're actually gonna go ahead and need uh, another thing for virtual box in order for this thing to work so we're gonna go over back to virtual box and we're gonna click on we want the extent extensions so if you go back to virtual we want this one yeah we downloaded the older one which was the 4.2 so we actually want the 4.3 so that's gonna go ahead and download and that that type of thing happens you know what can we do okay so we went ahead and downloaded so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade and once again read this wonderful literature And there you go, it has successfully installed that. Okay, so now that we, that has done, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video once again, and I'll come back when uh, the Ubuntu server is done downloading. All right, it looks like our Ubuntu server ISO has finished downloading. So we're gonna go ahead and click new, and we're gonna go ahead and just call it, um, let's just call it Ubuntu box. And this is Linux and it's Ubuntu 64 bit. And 512 megabytes of RAM looks good to me. And we want to go ahead and say 
create a virtual drive now since we don't have one. VDI seems fine. Dynamic allocated, perfect. Now here's where you can actually set how much um, space you want to set on this virtual machine. And for me, eight gigabytes is more than and enough because I'm not going to be really putting a lot of stuff in here and neither should you on your server. So your, your web application should be as small as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And that went ahead and created this Ubuntu machine. So there, there is a couple things that are still missing from this. We got to, or if you click on storage, so there, there's a couple things. We have this VDI, which is pretty much our virtual hard drive. But right here where it says controller IDE, we have an empty drive. We actually want to click this box right here that says live CD DVD. We want to click this arrow and say choose virtual CD disk from file. We want to go to our downloads, Ubuntu, open, click OK. Now that that's set up, we actually have one more configuration before we can actually move on to the next thing which is configuring our Ubuntu server. We actually want to right click on this and we want to go into network and we want to say right here where it says you have network adapter 1 and network adapter 2. So on network adapter 1 you want to set that one as NAT. And as network adapter 2, remember we had our host only adapter and it was vbbox.net 0. So you want to make sure that's checked off. All the settings look good to me. And then you click OK. And now you're ready to click the start button. And what this is going to do is going to go ahead and um, show you the walkthrough on, on configuring the server. But for us, we're just going to go ahead and cut it here. And we'll see you on the next video on configuring Ubuntu server. Oh.